Welcome to the DZ Easy Show, where we create the decentralized betterverse using DZs. Uh, let's learn about the decentralized internet. Well, the, what I'm using is the Hypercore protocol. So Hype gives you all these beautiful commands. So Hype info. Okay, so what is a Hypercore? Well, it is an append-only log, which means you could only append to a file. You can't delete. You can't uh, edit the uh, old data. It's permanently saved. And that gives it properties. So some smart people have created a file system out of the hypercores. Like with a set of hypercores, you can get commands like this. So I'm using a command line interface. And hey, how nice. Let's learn more about the command line interface. Okay, that's a GitHub link. Um, yeah, this is the CLI documentation. Um, Hypercore Protocol has a website. Um, this is the best one to go to, hypercoreprotocol.org. And um, when you install it you, with Node, you have access to a CLI as well as JavaScript interfaces. So I have a laptop running in my basement and it is serving some hyperdrives. And now let's look at one that I created today for Kansas Fest. Hype ls and you need a secret key. No, that's not it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's try that again. Hype ls and then paste in the secret key, 64 hex digits. And it just went down to my basement and gave me a directory of a hyperdrive. Now, what is in it? Oh, no, Carrington is in it. There's chicken missile. Oh, monster feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get the readme file. So let's hype cat readme.txt. Okay, hype cat, you need the key because that is a hash in a distributed hash table. Okay, and here is the readme.txt, so let's read it. Hello, Kansas Fest. This is a hyperdrive on the decentralized internet, and that's the Hypercore Protocol website. It's on a laptop in my basement, available to the public only when Eric keeps that laptop on and has it connected to the internet. So if at any point Eric can decide to connect it to a home router that is disconnected from the internet so he can play in his own sandbox, that happens when Eric gets paranoid about security and 5G towers controlling his mind. Look into that. Okay, so if you install Node.js version 14, I recommend NVM for managing Node versions, then you can install the package for the hyperspace CLI as documented in the instructions. So the address of this hyperdrive is this number. So everybody uh, type that in. <laughs> All right. Yeah, command not found. Two browsers that support the Hypercall protocol are Beaker Browser and Agrigor. You could Google those. There are ways to access hyperstructures in normal browsers using SDKs, but that takes some work. So in this hyperdrive, you will find index.html, a Hello World web page. Well, let's get that, and then we'll look at the other stuff. Cat pictures, chicken missile, Carrington's website from February 2006 and a not-safe-for-work episode of Carrington's podcast. Oh, my. All right, so let's do this hype cat index. Okay, the, the key slash index.html, and we're going to put it into a file called index.html. And that ls, we have a local copy of index.html. And we could cat it here. And uh, we could um, open it in a browser. Okay, so I'm going to open. Yeah. Okay, so here is the KFest directory. 
on my hard drive and I'm going to open index.html in Firefox, my default browser, and bring it over here. Hello, Kansas Festers. Look, Ma, no ads. Welcome to the decentralized internet. So we're back to the days of text where you can code websites in Notepad and host them yourself on a laptop and only people who know your secret key can get it. How about that? So let's see what else is in here. Let's get that readme file. Um, so I'm going to hype cat that and I'm going to save it to, uh, okay, slash readme.txt, save it to readme.txt. Okay, so that's my home network that brought it to me, cat readme.txt. So let's get some cat pictures. Okay, so let's do cats.jpg. I mean, that's what the internet's for, right? <laughs> if you watched Avenue Q, you know it's for something else. Okay. That's the same. Okay, so I just downloaded cat pictures. And now, um, here they are. Okay. What else? Chicken MKV. What's that? All right. So this is a video file, but cat works. And there is an easier way to download all these contents, but I'm going to wait a second to show you that. OK, so I just got an 8 megabyte chicken MKV file, and now I could play it locally. So this is our own YouTube. Okay. Chicken Let's missiles. Watch it. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing props for an audio <laughs> podcast. That's what I said. Uh, we got to do some sort of little video. Just imagine I mean, that we're all. I, I mentioned that to my like boys when the puppet came yesterday. They're like, "What is this for?" Imagine. I'm like, "Oh, Charles sent it for the audio, audio podcast, podcast we're doing tomorrow." <laughs> and I just let that sit there. <laughs> now can we do the intro song? It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. <laughs> it's time, time to get, get things started, started on, on the chicken, the chicken missile tonight. tonight. Boom, 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 boom. It's what? time to do the intro. It's time to alliterate. Infringing copyright tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive handwork there, Kirkin. <laughs> you are weirdly good at this. <laughs> All right, Carrington, what were you doing in 2006? Oh no, let's see what's on here. Let's hype LS again. And we have a monster 2006.html and a monster feet podcast. Well, Let's do this first. Um, let's hype diff from the hyperdrive to my local directory. And it's telling me that if I commit this diff, oh, it's going to add Carrington, oh no, to my hyperdrive. It's going to add monster feet and his HTML of his website and all the files, the Canadian podcast, oh no. Am I going to do this? So yeah, I'm going to minus C to commit it. Okay, and commit these changes. Yes, I am committed and done. Wow. Now what do I have? I have a whole copy of a decentralized website right here. So I could have done this right away and then it would have given me everything. But now I have this whole monster feet 2006 files directory. So now disconnected, I could disconnect from the internet now and uh, Look at Carrington's site from 2006, which I downloaded from the Wayback Machine this morning. So donate to the Internet Archive. And uh, oh boy, look at all that white, that green space. And there he is. And he has these shows. And if you have this site, 
the URLs will resolve to the um, web.archive.org. How is that? And then you could hear Carrington's podcast from 2005, 815. You're listening to the Monster Feet Variety Show. Okay. So, um, now, I've also downloaded a free podcast for you to listen to when you're away from work. Let's just see. You can play it in your own MP3 player, iTunes, whatever. The Monster Fever Variety Show was the first podcast to be broadcast from the moon. I don't want to infringe on Carrington's copyright. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so that there you have it. Now, what good is the decentralized Internet? Well, let's say um, we eventually have some browsers that support it. There are experimental browsers, like one I'm going to show you here, called Beaker Browser. And uh, here's a website that I did, um, which um, it's not hooked up to data yet, but if it was, it could access data on a hyperdrive. And I'm using A-Frame for 3D rendering. So now this is OpenGL, so I can tilt and I can zoom back here, and then I could walk around here and turn it and see the beams connecting the boxes. So I could zoom out, zoom in. I got to learn how to change my camera angle, and I got to learn. So it also has a VR mode. So if you're using a Google Cardboard, you can do that. Yeah, sure. And then, uh, yeah, you're in virtual world. So the metaverse, the Zuckerverse, is going to be something not like this, okay? We're going to try to put useful information into our metaverse. So here is an example, like say you're on a call and you get a transcript, and uh, so someone says, hello, big, beautiful, crazy world, and uh, then there's more chats. I'm telling you to look behind me because we could put metadata into a 3D structure. And say there's a chat going on on the side and Oscar disagrees and says the world is ugly and he posts a YouTube video of why the world is ugly. So let's look behind these structures. Okay, so um, how do you look, how do you safely look behind? Okay, connected dimensions are behind cells. So I'm talking about a structure that has dimensions so say there's a dimension called comments, and then we move to the right, and we can see comments connected somehow to a transcript. And then uh, just as another example, let's go behind this. Like say there's a thread. So say the comments are threaded, that this is a comment on a comment. So I'm saying Jerry comments on Oscar's comment and says Oscar's just being a grouch. So what if we had structures like this instead of file systems, databases. Well, some guy named Ted Nelson dreamed up this. Um, th this is just picture here. There's nothing behind it, not reading data. It's just code, and I'd like to show you that code. Okay, so let's take a look at some of this code. So it's using a library called A-Frame, and it's in a vendor a directory, A-Frame min.js. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, let's see, here's index.html again. So what we're doing is we're creating a scene, and we're going to use camera. We're going to use WASD controls, which are equivalent to arrows. You can also use your arrows. And we're drawing boxes. We're drawing text with a font called Roboto. And uh, let's see, we're doing cylinders and green cells, and we have control of rotation, color, width, height, positioning. And uh, if you work on your um, numbers correctly, you'll get it looking good. And you even have a sky. You can change the color of the sky. How about that? Okay, so that's all an A-frame scene. Um, A-frame.io is their website to learn all about it. Okay, and uh, this up.sh is how I uploaded this website to my uh, decentralized server, which is not really a server. It's just a laptop communicating peer-to-peer -peer with whoever knows these secret keys. 
So let's continue with the vision. Let's magnify this because we're all getting older. Okay, Kansas Fest. So let's continue reading. So that's running on Node.js version 14, and we were using the hyperspace CLI. So a hyper URL is an address, and there's a protocol handler in the Beaker browser and Agrigor for the hyper protocol. So this is just like any other, um, quote, decentralized internet product, but it does not use blockchain. Uh, sorry, Charles. Yeah, I'd love to run it on Apple II blockchain, but I'd love to see this, um, these hypercores being accessed by an Apple um, with a Wi-Fi modem or whatever, um, Ethernet card, and uh, let's put some Apple II disk images in them. So yeah, Beaker Browser and Agrigor are the browsers, and there are SDKs. And you've seen that. So 4 a.m., I'm going to put all your disk images on the decentralized internet in hyperdrives, in hyperspace. We'll go into more in another time. Mm -hmm.